Hi, Amy with Fashion Toppings here. Today's tutorial is based on a request that I got on one of my comment pages. Someone had asked how I made the yellow tie belt that I wear with the yellow uh, waterfall dress. So I'm going to show you two quick ways that you can make a tie into a belt and some other purposes you can use with those old ties as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is this is the belt that I wore with the yellow, the yellow um, waterfall dress. And this is how I did it. It's so easy. First of all, I just simply put a hook there and the eye clip there so they can attach. So what I did is I put it on myself first, decided where exactly I'd probably be wearing this belt. I actually put two um, clips, one up higher and then one, um, I put two actually, see, so that so that there's different ways that I can wear it. One, I wanted to wear it low with jeans, or two, if I want to wear it up higher on my waist uh, with my dresses. So, I put the tie on my waist, widest part in the center, and I wrap it around twice. So it goes right through the middle of my tie there, you see that? And then my hook and eye enclosure fastens and voila that's my first belt okay my second belt I did something a little bit different um, this is one of the ties I got at the thrift store what I did you can see I've got some ruffling going on there I'll show you on a tie I haven't done yet I love this color and I'm kind of holding on to this to wait to see what I'm going to do with it if I get another dress that might be in the in the pink something that would match with pink in the pink family so what I did is I put it under my sewing machine I folded it and then I stitched and then I folded it again and then I stitched so I just did one big long running stitch through the center of all of my ruffles so I put it I put it on a straight stitch and I started right at my first ruffle and I went right down the center of all my ruffles and stopped at my last ruffle I pre-measured my belt um, I pre-measured this so I knew how far I wanted my ruffling to go because this leftover material fits around my waist. So this can be worn in several different ways. I still have to attach the hook and eye on this one, but see it has a lot more texture to it. You can do the same thing with this belt as you did with the last belt. Wrap it around, right through the center, kind of it hides your stitching, and then your hook and eye would hook that shut there. And then you have the nice texture. And it's kind of nice too that it's wider on one side and then lower on the other. This would look really cute with a one sleeve dress, the cross the shoulder dress, um, because of the line. You can kind of follow the line if you did a, also a one shoulder dress. So that's one way that you can wear it. Two, I kind of like this. I was playing around with it. I was sitting in front of the mirror and grabbing my ties and deciding what I want to do with it. This could also be made into a necklace, a high necklace, because you can see with the texture, Especially if fall come around, you can wear it underneath a sweater. So for those of us over 40 who like to hide this part of our neck, <laughs> this would actually be very cute. The, the ruffle, you can wear it as a necklace. You can dress it up with maybe putting button, buttons on each one of the ruffles. But this has a nice little uh, red box. So I didn't want to put a button on it. But you can wear it as a necklace. Um, you could also cut it short and make a ruffle bracelet out of it. Just wrap it around your wrist and then cut it to the length you want, place a button, and then you got a ruffle bracelet, which is really cute. Um, I even thought of the idea when fall comes around uh, with the sweaters that I have. When they get a little old, the edge of your uh, cuffs on your, on your sweaters get kind of ravelly or kind of worn. You can put two different ties, one on, on each of the cuffs of your sweaters, mix match them, Make your, make your uh, sweater a lot more colorful and more unique, more original. So I love the ruffled idea. So you can ruff, you can see it from the side. You can ruffle your tie or you can do what I did with the yellow. Where did it go? Or you can just leave it plain like I did with this one. And then this one, also what you can do with an old tie, you have so much yardage of the thin part of the tie um, that you can actually use this almost like binding tape. So make it as a new uh, new border, the thin part, 
a new border on a shirt around your collar. Sew it to your collar and you can actually decorate up an old t-shirt. So use this as binding tape instead. So I mean these things you can get at the thrift store for 99 cents and you can get so many original different patterns. Wow, static cling today, wow. There's so many different original um, patterns that you that come in ties. I mean, sometimes the uglier the better because it makes it a little bit more unique. But be creative. Use the thin part of the tie that's excess left, left over after you cut it off to make a, you know, a bracelet or a necklace, your excess that you have left over. Use it as binding tape. I got static cling. That is driving me crazy. You can actually make this also into, put a button right here, and then you can almost wear it like, a faux collar on a shirt. There's so many possibilities. So leave some comments at the bottom. If there's something you want me to do, leave a comment and I'll do my best to get it done as soon as possible and show you the tutorial. So make use of your old ties. Make them into belts. It's so easy. As long as you buy a little package of hook and eye closures, which I got uh, with a 50% off coupon at um, Joanne Fabrics. I think I paid I think a dollar for a whole box. I think I got 40 in them with my coupon. This is this is actually my favorite. This is what I'm going to end up doing to most of my ties because it's so versatile. It's so flattering, nice and smooth. Be creative. Find some new ways to use your husband's old ties or go to the thrift store. When they're 99 cents, you can't beat it. You can make them into anything. But share your ideas with me. This is I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time.